Escape to pure luxury at Calajula Luxury Stays, where every detail is crafted to perfection. With stunning accommodation and unparalleled service, Calajula indulges in a world of sophistication and relaxation. Well, book your unforgettable getaway today at Calajula Luxury Stays. Contact us on Facebook and Instagram at Calajula Luxury Stays or email at calajulastays at gmail.com or call plus 220-325-3572 or WhatsApp 125-3376-8989. Calajula Luxury Stays, your dream retreat awaits. Hi, welcome to Crude with Danny Constant, a podcast where open-minded individuals hold amazing conversations. Well, you can be part of this by following us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, or X at Crude with Danny Constant. Leave us a message, suggest a guest, or comment by using the hashtag Crude with Danny Constant, hashtag C-R-U-D-E-W-D-C, one word. Thank you. On this amazing episode, our special guest is Bob Bobakar Keita, or equally known as Bob Keita. He is the CEO of Fire Protect Gambia which is a fire protect and security company. But equally, he is the CEO and currently holds uh, the director position of the Bob Cater Foundation. He joined us here this afternoon with a fascinating story. I hope you're entertained. Um, but, but welcome, welcome, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. Uh, you know, as you rightly stated, um, you're not only my friend, you're my brother. And, and it's a pleasure for me to be here. Thank you so much um, for this opportunity. I've been following you. You know, I've listened to some of your previous interviews with some of our brothers who seen and others. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure, brother. What was what was child what, what was your, what was your childhood like? Because I know a lot of people, you know, there's 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 already an element, an image that is painted of 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 Bob Cater out there. But what what would you say was the best part of your childhood? Um, you know, my 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 childhood entail a lot. Like you okay. know, um, um, you know, as you know. I was not born in Gambia, though, but my, mm-hmm. my, my dad is a Gambian, um, okay. you know, before people really migrate to other African countries. So my dad moved into Sierra Leone um, in the, in the, in the, in the okay. early 80s. Um, and that's, Sierra, where, that's where he know. met my mom. Yes. yes so my, 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 my dad moved um, to Sierra Leone um, in, the, mm-hmm. in, the late, in the late 80s. Um, you know, that's where he met my mom and that's where I was okay. born. So I was born on the on the fifteenth of December, um, mm-hmm. uh, two thousand and uh, sorry, nineteen ninety, and then uh, my dad brought us back to the Gambia, um, in ninety two. So I think I was a baby by. Oh, so childhood from Freetown, Sierra Leone. Now here you are in the Gambia. Um, how 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 much was the transition like? Because this is something else. Yeah, I, I actually I can't really remember because I, I as I stated, um, I was born in 1990 and then we we came back because that was during mm-hmm. the war in Sierra Leone. Yes. My dad brought us back to to, to mm-hmm. Gambia, and mm-hmm. mind you, we we are not living in the in the in the urban area. He took us to to Pase, uh, okay. where he's originally from Tambasansa. So oh. that is where I stayed with my dad and my mom. I think they stayed for like uh, six months, and then they went back to Sierra Leone. So. From ninety two, um, I was staying with my aunties. You know, different, different, different guidance. So I have a very, you know, tense um, childhood from one guidian to another one to another one to another one. So the next time again, I will see my dad and my mom mm-hmm. was in two thousand and twelve. So the, okay. the 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 connection, the parental connection was not there, but thank God, um, I didn't lose sight. I was focused. You know, uh, so it 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 it. it it was a bit of rough transition, 
No, um, no, no. It's, it's not. That's not a bit. That is very. That is very rough. Wait. Yeah. So, what what was the conversation like between yourself and your mom after all the time? See, from the early nineties to like two thousand and twelve. Yeah, yeah. Because I remember when when we were in in the in the provinces, it was that mm-hmm. time they were not mobile phones. So most of the time, you know, my dad my dad will record. You know, you know those days they would record. On this, um, um, the 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 um, how to call it? You, you know, this radio recorders, and then they would send yes. the cassette all the way mm-hmm. to Gambia. And sometimes, funnily, before the cassette would reach to Gambia, my dad would be greeting some people. Those people have already passed. You understand? <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then now I remember <laughs> we'll be seated, and then we will be also going to record our voice. Oh, dad, how are you? But I cannot actually talk to my mom that time because my mom. It's not a Gambian. She cannot speak Mandinka. She cannot speak all of it. It's only Creole. And for me, you like, you know, I cannot speak Creole. So the language barrier was there. So that, you know, that was really emotional. Like, you imagine you cannot communicate with your mom. You yes, understand? Yes, 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 yes. So it was, it was crazy. It was, it was a crazy one. How much of that affected you, especially when you're going to, say, high school now? Here you are now becoming... Um, uh, uh, you, you're beginning to see what life is like outside, and yeah. for the most part, a lot of people need someone to hold their hands. How are you, you know, like okay, yeah. this is this yeah. is this basically show you the ropes, and you were doing this pretty much on your own. So, what was high school like before you started? Before you got into the hustling world? Yeah, you know, as I said, it was it was rough because there's nothing like a parent. You understand? Mm-hmm. You can have mm-hmm. a guardian that is so filthy rich, but if that parental love is not there. Someone can love you to death, but it will never be equal to your parents. So True. sometimes, you know, I'll just go to school, you know, without lunch, or sometimes, you know, I'll just see how my friends, you know, will be dropped to school by their parents. And I will just have that mixed feeling, and I will just sit in the corner sometimes, you know, and cry oh. and say, oh, I wish my mom or my dad was here. While so. they are living. But it's not like if, if they were dead, I will know, okay, maybe... You know, this one I have no choice, but this one, like, they were away, they are struggling there, you know, just to make life better home too. So it was it was a rough one. It was, a, you know, it was a tense one. But then, you know, I, 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 you know, for some reason, God will always send that somebody, you know, yes. that would be that would be that, you know, uh, parent, parent to me, even though. It's not actually my biological mom or dad, mm-hmm. but that somebody will be there to actually look, you know, after me, like my own mom and dad. But it wouldn't be the same as your own. So who's who's this who's this who's this individual though? I mean, I don't. I I hope you you don't mind calling their name just to give them a shout out because that's a big deal. Like they need to be commended for what they've done, you know, how much they've impacted your life. Yeah, because you know when when I was in uh, when I was in Basse. I left mm-hmm. Basse at an early age. Then I came to Combo in Jambanjeli, you know, around mm-hmm. Africa. So yes. I was staying with, with one of my aunties, you know, and um, she is the younger sister to my dad. She really tried hard for me. But there was this neighbor, because with the, 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 the guardian I was staying with, my auntie, was not that financially stable, you know. Sometimes mm-hmm. we struggle to have only one meal a day, maybe just the <sighs> breakfast or maybe lunch. So it was difficult. But then there was this neighbor. Um, his name is Mao Bayo. He resides now in the U.S. I hope he's listening. So yes, this sir. guy, this guy just just naturally loves me. You know, um, I remember, you know, he was having this tuba. You know, a lot of these white guys there. You know, mm-hmm. and then whenever they send stuff for him, he'll just give it to me. He'd really look after me. You know, he will he will take me with him to Sanya at the beach. You know, so he mm-hmm. really makes makes me feel like home, even though it's not home. But like you know, and uh, and then when he moved to US, I don't have a phone that time, and we lost contact until after my trial. One day I saw I saw him send me a message, and I called him, and you know it was a bit emotional. I was crying. I said, "Oh, thank you so much for everything you did." He said, "No, I should thank you because you know when you were going through shit, I was mm-hmm. sorry for the language, you know." It's okay. It's okay. Bitter, it's okay. You know, yeah, yeah. So that guy really really helped me. And, you know, there was another transition. So when I left um, 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 Jambanjel, I went to Kersering. So this mm-hmm. was a whole different one because, you know, knowing Jambanjel and all those all those other places are uh, mostly Mandinka populated areas. So when I moved into Kersering now, 
this is where the problem come and this is where i i met you and eva and others yeah. so wallop now i have to start speaking wallop and oh. that was a bit difficult you know and this guy also took me as his own son because his his son was my friend you know my job he owns a video club so i used to go there carry their tvs mm-hmm. you know and then he was really helpful to me but the only barrier there was i can only speak mandinka and they can only speak wallop so it is <laughs> Yeah. Um so here you are. Yeah. Now out of school and yeah. beginning the hustle. Now yeah. was there any was there any point in your in your adolescent life or your youth life where you somewhat knew what you wanted to become because that's that's somewhat of a of an issue growing up as a young person in Gambia. Like when you came out of school was that the, was that the same case for you? Yeah, because for me when I was going to school, I I um as I tell you, I was I was dreaming big, but then the you know, the 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 the, the strength was not there. So okay. I always want to concentrate to become a lawyer or to become something big because for me all along like when I was growing, I was like I, I always have this in my mind, okay, tomorrow I want to be somebody that everybody is going to know. So I grow up with that, you know, with that motivation in me. You understand? Okay. But okay. then completing the school, you know, like, you know, the MDIs were new that time. So there was no and there was no person that was going to help me to pay, like, you know, the school fees and everything. So then I was just looking around, okay, what is available for me right now? What am I going to do? So I was I was confused. You mm-hmm. understand because you, you have no parent to talk to you don't have that elderly brother or somebody financially stable to help you so True. i was just looking at any opportunity that i can grab to at least feed myself to look after myself so you know uh, the, the transition from the school to 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 choose the 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 the, the you know the, the the career that you wanted was was very confusing for me True. But yeah. did you ever what, what, did, what was your did you have a dream career like were you were you did you ever dream to say want to become a footballer or you know Yeah but, but yeah 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 of course you know like when you're growing up uh, in Gambia that is usually everyone want to become a footballer but you know those days we don't have more of those Gambian footballers out there you know mm-hmm. like that are so rich. like you know we have the like of Jatosis and others but you can see they are not that financially you know rich yeah, like compared yeah. to the other ones so mm-hmm. like not like today you have the you know the like of musa baro minte and others that can motivate a young guy okay if this person can do this i can do this so we only yeah. we yeah. are only doing football for for fun and there was a time i was really attached to this nigerian movie so i wanted to become an actor you understand <laughs> you remember those days <laughs> You know, <laughs> we all we all had that face. We all yes. had that face. We all went through yes. that face, though. Exactly. exactly. So I remember there was a time some Nigerians came here. Nyom Tom, you know, they brought this other Niger- uh, Nigerian actors. So I was, I tried, I tried all my best to get to the director, to get to this, and I was close to them. You know, mm-hmm. tried to get into the acting, but it was not my way. You know, True. and True. then you know, so you have to dive out to another thing. So you know, yeah. When 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 did you when did you get into that hustling entrepreneurial spirit to now find yourself as a CEO? Yeah, okay. Um, that one is started in Kersering. So um, I will tell you that you know you remember when I tell you the guy that really helped me when I was in Kersering. He was having a business mm-hmm. and he was doing good. You understand. Um, this is a guy that would take me to school sometimes when I was going there. And he also have a, a side business around a video club that I was running. So I would see, I would be seated in that video club from mm-hmm. morning, collecting tickets. You know, those days there were no <laughs> lot of DSTVs around. So people would come and watch football. You yeah. understand? $10. So from morning, Premier League, when they started 10 o'clock, I'll be there till night. So sometimes wow. I would be giving him 2000 And I you know, and then he would give me like fifty dollars. Then I'll be excited because all what I needed that time was to put something in my stomach. So True. from there, I started to have this dream of okay, one day I want to I want to do something on myself. You understand? Okay. But then how do I achieve this dream? I have to start from somewhere. Mm-hmm. Then um, I started going to Senegambia. I had this lady. Um, if you are familiar with the Nubian Nubian restaurant, uh, now they're doing more fish. You know, in Gambia. Um, yes. So I, 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 I approached her, I said, um, you know, can you, can, you, can you just employ me here? I want to work. He said, no, you know, we can only take you as, um, 
um, I don't know how they call it. You know, when you go to Senegambia, those who will just stand there to, you know, to just call customers to come in there. So I was doing Oh, that. those call those call boys, those yeah, yes. call boy, exactly. Yes. So yes. so you know, in the evening I will just wear my you know, my nice clothes and stand there and they just start calling tourists to come in and then I don't know, it was a miracle. I just did that two, three weeks, you know, then the whole whenever I stand there, I would attract a mm -hmm. lot of these people to come in, like the white people and she was very impressed with that. So oh. suddenly yeah, so I I, 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 I got this uh, white lady there, you know, she really liked me, you know, and she was like, Oh, okay, why don't you go back to school? Do you want to go to school? I said, Yes, I wanted to go to school, mm -hmm. but I don't have opportunity. But he told me, Well, this is the story that every Gambian will say, Oh, want to go back to school. I said, No, this is my dream. And you know, she was able to pay for me MDI the whole year. Then I went to school, I studied mm -hmm. IT, but then mm -hmm. later on, you know, she passed. So I do I couldn't have that 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 opportunity again. So now back to square one. Then that is wow. the time. Um, I, one of my one of my friends' um, 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 husband, that is Amara. So mm -hmm. Amara, Amara was our boss. <laughs> hey, yes, sir. yes, sir. Yeah. So I met Amara, and then Amara was um, a guy. Shout out to him, by the way. Yeah. Uh, you know, he was he was working for Africell, but sideline also he have. Um, um, uh, he has a company called, I think, iMotion, if my memory serves me well. Yes, yes, and yes. We, we all started there. We started mm -hmm. working. And for me, I was doing more of marketing and then going after customers. So the same thing. So for me, I, I'm always the mediator between the, 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 you know, my boss and then the customer. So most of the time, we'll be going around collecting money. And, you know, sure. you'll be tempted as a young guy. Okay, if this guy can do this, I'll be able to do this myself. You understand? So that that was the time I met. I also met a customer that that we are doing their website, a newly created company called Fire Protect, which I I own now hundred percent. Um, mm -hmm. I met them through that that work, and then they see what I've been doing. They approached okay. me, you mm -hmm. know, to work with them. So so the same thing. I, I I become their marketing manager. So this is how the whole entrepreneurship came into my head, and then the idea also fit into me. Okay. What was it like dealing with the customers from the from from the from the get go? You are representing something international with the knowledge from you know with the ground knowledge. What 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 was it like? What were the first initial conversations like? Why you know when you were when you were trying to attract customers? Okay, like as I tell you, the co the, the company was already in existence, but as you okay. said, that's a very important point. It was owned by this. Um, they are from England and Czech Republic. So, but okay. you see, when they came into the Gambia, there were a few companies that were doing the same. But as you said, we we tend to respect or you know um, 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 support the outside business. So when they came in, they mm -hmm. attracted lot and lot and lot of um, customers from the government side, you know, from the private sector. And mm -hmm. luckily for me, I was the mediator. Like like let's say I was the one that was in between them. And most of these big corporates here, like the banks, you know, uh, the hotels, big institutions. Yeah. So most of them knows me as, you know, like the main face of Fire Protect Gambia Limited. So mm. now when they left, you understand, I didn't yeah. make it clear to them at that time that they left. So they think it is oh. still it is still that Western company, you understand, that they are dealing right. with. But yeah, mm. because once they know, Okay, now these guys have left, so we are dealing with Keta. You know, at the, at at the time, I was twenty two. I was young. You understand? Yes. They wouldn't take me seriously. You know, some of them would think, "Oh, he's a young guy. He cannot be having because mind you, we used to have contracts one million. We used to have contract five hundred. So the, the 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 contracts were big. But to my experience, my three years experience in that company, mm -hmm. they were having most most of those. Uh, patronage because they are not from they are not Gambian based you know businesses yeah so so True. so 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 I also maintained the name you know okay. I maintained the office for a time and then I changed mm -hmm. it because it was expensive we were we were at the heart of Kerala Avenue just opposite the American Embassy so yeah you are right um, we we tend to respect mm -hmm. and support more outside businesses than our 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 our, our own yeah how do you balance between Reaching your goals and investing in your goals, your personal goals, and making sure that the business equally is is is, is functioning. Yeah, um, you know, as you said, every businessman you have your goal. So, um, 
when 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 I was at the peak of that journey, like the fire protect transitioning from the uh, from the the initial owners to mine, and yeah. you know we I I I was doing fantastic. I have to be honest. But within mm-hmm. that time, that is when everything blow. I you know I become um you know I faced legal challenges. I was mm-hmm. not available for my business, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. now um this is where most of the customers know okay oh bob was actually the owner of this business because anytime they're going to report about my case going to court the name fire protect will show so now people actually True. big businesses especially you and you know they don't joke with cases like that so yeah. at the peak of when everything was coming like um to the level where i wanted to be and then this is where i got the big setback of my life so now this was a difficult one I was, and when I was starting at this point, I was not looking at recruiting somebody because I was young, I was energetic, mm-hmm. I was, I was just fire, like, like, like so ambitious to go. You understand True. to reach the goals. Then when I got this problem, uh, one two years after that, because all everything started around 2017, mm-hmm. but 2018, 19, then I was not available. You know, there was no communication. So everything was a domain, you understand? So True. this is where, you know, I can say from 2019, 2020, 2020, four years of all that hard work. So the, the whole four years from 2019 when I first get the problem to 2000 and late 2022 when I left the prison. So mm-hmm. it was it was like zero. It was square one because, you know, as a businessman, you have to save money for your future businesses but then you you have a legal you know challenges there mm-hmm, you mm-hmm, cannot mm-hmm. actually leave that money for that you have to pay your legal fees and especially if you are the breadwinner of the family so everything i've worked for from 2013 to 2019 everything mm-hmm. just collapsed so <laughs> now now when i come back you know you have to work on your image first because this is not something that is only followed nationally. This was like everywhere. everywhere. International, bro. International, international news, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Because when I came out, you know, I have people in Nigeria, some people in America calling me that they want to talk to me about this because they have seen in on, on Twitter. Also. So it was, mm-hmm. it was crazy. Um, and most of my customers were like, you know, international bodies, the main, the main UN body, you know, then mm-hmm. they boycott the business because, mm-hmm. you know, for various reasons, American True. embassy, you know, my visa cancel. So there are, there are a lot of there are a lot of setbacks that came in. Now we are trying to build back. But you know, before you come, other people will take advantage of 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 your downfall. Yes. They will try to they will try to create something similar. So it's 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 a big challenge now. But Alhamdulillah, we are we are we are getting there slowly. Hmm. Yeah. I I am I am sorry. I you you kind of jump the kettle. You know, yes. but I'm glad you did. Um, yeah. Just disclaimer, just for a lot of people, um, Bob, Mr. Bob Cater, actually, um, was in prison for, uh, I think, about a year and, and some months, right? No, two, like, um, it started from 2019, then I got mm-hmm. bailed, then I went 2020 to 2000. So all together is like, uh, let's say, three years. Okay, so about so about so about three so about three years, yeah. And this this all happened in one of the most controversial stories ever yes. in our country. He was accused of rape and acquitted by the court of law. And yeah. here we are currently just getting to understand his mindset because. It is, it's, it's, it's easy for individuals to, to give power to your words. It's easy for a lot of people to create narrations from your experience. But Ooh. as, 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 as Bob Keita, what was it like? If you are to summarize the experience in there, what was it like? Um, you know, I would have said like, you know, it was, it was like, uh, being in hell while you're still living because you know, you know where we started. You know, yeah. at the point of your life, you know, mm-hmm. um, married with your two kids, you know, and then one day, bam, you're taken to court, and next minute you had like you are going to prison. It was, um, it was heartbreaking. It was difficult. Uh, 
you know, it's it, it's it's crazy. I always don't want to talk about it because mm -hmm. it, it, I know it's it's, it's, very, it's, it's very it's very it's very it's very sensitive. But just yeah. outright, outright, like because you are you are you've been acquitted, and till to this day, it's yeah. still like a stamp on some people's conscience. Yeah. And I know for a lot of people, for for a lot of individuals that are eventually listening, that are listening to you now, yeah. or, or event, are going to listen to you. They're still going to be oh, but, but you know, but but he but but, so as Bob Kater, what what do you what do you tell those people? Like, do you still have, do you still have to justify yourself? I mean, because you know in your heart that all the allegations against you were false, and yeah. that's the truth, right? So yeah, you you did not you did not do what you were accused of like we because because i know some right some way some way out right there someone will ask you oh bob did you really did you did you really rape that girl like did you really did you do it yeah so yeah, yeah. the question so so how do you answer those questions no because you know you know the the the, the question here it's mm. it's 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 easy to answer um i i was not only um, accused by only the courts, but also by the scientific um, 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 DNA that comes with it. Because remember, mm. this was a case that was unique. It also came yes. out with a child in, mm -hmm. this, in this case that um, that 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 out of the rape mm -hmm. um, that is that, uh, um, and then the child came out of 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 it, and then mm -hmm. you know. In the court, the the um, you know the the alleged victim said she never had anything to do with any other person apart from me. So if you look if you look at everything, Danny, so today I always said this. I said uh, the 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 justice system in the Gambia really failed me. Uh, okay. They, they they did that deliberately because I think um, there was there was a lot of motive behind it. You know, because if you know feminism in Gambia and activism here. It's mm -hmm. about targeting certain people. Like, you know, when you come to Gambian, Gambian Sweden, they want to target the so-called, okay, let's say these people are powerful or these people are mm -hmm. celebrities or these people, people know them. Mm -hmm. So so, so at the time when that case came in, you understand, I was I was the perfect um, 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 victim that they are looking at. So at the time, they don't care about, about evidences. They don't care about anything. They just care about to have that person that is well known, because then you know we where where we started to mm -hmm. be where we are today. As I told you, I'm from mm -hmm. I'm from the village. I came mm -hmm. here. I was not born in this area. I can't even speak Wolof. So mm -hmm. we work hard. We strive. You understand? We we did things to get to where we are. So for them, at that time, all what they wanted was to get somebody that they can get the sample. And I happen to be that person. And you know things. So so, so 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 now here is the the like like you say, like 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 you say the court of of of, of public opinion yep. bashing you and using you as scapegoat for. Yep. I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say the public opinion. This we are just few okay. individuals because okay. then okay. Look, okay look at it this way. There was no rape case in the world. I will not even talk about Gambia. Right. That have so much public support, like I do. You know that you understand, because normally when one is accused of rape, it's like everybody want to distance themselves from you. Mm -hmm. You understand, but in, in 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 Gambia, you know what happened when whenever I go to court, it was it was crazy. For the first time, one court case have to move from one court to another court, and security was so it people knew about 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 the truth, but then you know the due process also have to follow. And what really stressed me off in all this situation is what I said to them from the initial point, what they don't wanted to do, that mm -hmm. is what they ended up doing. And okay. because to today, you know, it, it, it just break my heart. And sometimes I find it very difficult to forgive these people because they, they ruin, you know, um, 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 a very nice person. I, you know, I don't want to promote myself, but I think I'm, no, no, you, 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 know, you, 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 are a nice person. You are, you are, you are, yeah. you're a nice person. I'm, I'm, I, 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 I'm, I, I can, I can, I, I can certainly get test to that. Or oh, how much, how much of this gave you the, or, or made you understand the value of friendship? You, you know, you know, you know. Uh, sometimes certain things are like a blessing to you. You know, 
I, 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 I consider some people as my, not my friends, like my brothers. We move day in, day out. People know them because of me. Mm -hmm. But you'll be surprised to know when I was in this problem, most of the people that were close to me, everybody, if not few, everybody gave their back. You understand? <sighs> I've, I've seen people that, you know, I can take a bullet for, have said very horrible things to me, you know, and I've seen people that, you know, would pretend when I was released, they were, they, they would come to my house and I have their audios because, you know, Gambia is, is, is a very little, and, you know, we are all connected. Oh no, you know, the so you know, it 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 actually helped me now to be that reserve person. You know me, I was I was I, I was okay. Funny, so I'm 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 gonna ask. I'm gonna yes. this is crude. I'm I'm gonna ask. Yeah. Which of this individual was like the most striking of of all? Like which 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 audio or which who, who's, whose message did you receive? And you're like, oh, shoot, I never thought this person was going to, you know. Yeah, um, it, 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 it's, it's a few. I don't want to name, but um, okay. yeah, I, I, will, I will name one message. I once received, um, um, there's this girl, she's a very good friend of mine, and she was talking to a good friend of mine, Alaji Manga, whom mm -hmm. we all, we, 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 we all, we all, you know, um, um, compare together, we do stuff mm -hmm. together. And mm -hmm. he said very terrible things to me. And when this girl sent me this message, you know, I, I, oh, I was, I was furious. I was angry, and I called him. I said, "Bro, oh, I, I heard what you said, you know." And that time, I think I was in prison, but I tried to get that message. And I said, "I'm really disappointed that you will say that I confessed to this case. Where did I confess to that? To, to a crime that I never committed, and you swear that I was the one that tell you." And there's another person that I don't want to mention, but he's one, I was angry. I mm -hmm. confronted him and I confronted the wife and I was really extremely disappointed. And there are a few other people, you know, I, I, don't, I don't want to mention, but for him, why I mentioned, because I told him directly in his face that um, the, 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 this was very heartbroken because your wife is my good friend mm -hmm. and you're my friend. We always hang out together. We share ideas. We talk about family. So I, I you, you know, at this point, I was not actually asking for anyone to support me. But if you are not going to support me as a friend, mm -hmm. you should not also be that person out there to tarnish my image of things that you are not even sure about. So it, 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 um, another friend of mine answered that I used to move. He was my best friend. No, now we don't talk now. Oh, bro. Ansu. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Yeah, yeah, now, I remember now, answer. Yeah. I remember answer. You remember, yes, in Africa. Now we don't talk anymore. So it it it's it, it just it's just it just break a lot of lot of lot of friendship, you know. Um um and 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 something that stood out for me, Danny. Um mm -hmm. I know that one is not that part of the topic. I was I was I was in the, um you remember this restaurant, um I forgot the name. Just after duplex, there's this Nigerian restaurant we used to go and eat there. Buka, Buka. Buka, Buka. Buka. So I was yes. I, mean, I was seated seated there last December. And this girl from America, from her accent, you know, she's from America, she came to me and she said, Bob, you know, um, I'm so happy to see you. I'm so happy that you are happy. I said, Why? She said, up to date, I'm not talking to my elder sister, the same mom and dad. And I was like, why? She said, because your case. He said, when your case um, came in any day in my house, it's like we are all going to fight. So me, my family, everyone was for you. And our sister will call you a rapist. And, and like up to date, they were not talking. I was, uh, you know, that, that really, that really break my heart, you know, like to know that people are going to love you to that extent. You know, it, it it was crazy. Things happen, you know. But um, back to your question, those those, mm -hmm. those 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 people that were close to me, you know, some of them say very 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 outrageous comments, you know, and it 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 it, it, it will forever stay with me. I am going to delve into, um, I think a topic <laughs> that I not 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 many people that have the balls will ask you this question. Yeah. How have you, how have you accepted or dealt with what your ex-wife did to you? You know, uh, um, uh, when, when I was, when I was, when everything started, um, I was arrested, I was released. And I think I met her once and that record, record audio was played. 
all of us said, I know people are behind you. And this, you know, this is not me. Mm-hmm. But um, at that point, oh, so so you met you met her, and there was a there was a there was a there was she recorded the conversation when yeah, you guys met. Yeah, she recorded, oh, she she, record, she recorded that conversation, and I think later on when I was in mile two, she played that conversation. We were arguing bitterly, but you know, um, the moment I the moment I I I I I came to um, feel sorry for her is when I was seated in the mile two with them, Yankuba Ture, you must have known them, Yankuba Baji, mm-hmm, you know, those mm-hmm, mm-hmm, And yes. then in the news, they announced that the baby, the, the, the baby in the center of the case died, and then now she's coming to come to mile two. I cried. You know, I, 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 you know, I cried for many reasons. First, I cried uh, for our daughters because we were blessed with two beautiful girls. And now they are going to be out there and both, parents are in prison for a very accused of serious crime the father is accused of rape the more the mom mm-hmm. is accused of, of 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 murder you know and and i also know the situation in prison then mile two as i said mile two is is the hell in 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 in, in art and now she's coming there and i felt and i broke down and everyone was just happy and they said why i said no no this is somebody that I've known for like more than 10 years and we've been married and you know mm-hmm. we, we 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 have kids this is not what I wish for her and if you can remember True. when I went to court a friend of mine came to me and told me this and I said oh no 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 I don't want her to come here and I think what's on that and all this standard news they all wrote that oh mm-hmm. okay I don't want his ex wife and people, some people were angry I remember some of my supporters came to prison and they were like no 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 no, no. don't say that she have to come and I and, and, and I and I just keep quiet. So when she came and I saw her, because it, it coincided um um that I was I was eating and then they brought her in and she didn't see me, but I want her to see me to know like you know, I've come I don't know like I'm solo I don't know solo. And then Black. I talk, you know, you know I have this voice, I have a very deep voice and and then obviously she's gonna recognize my voice. And mm-hmm. then when she mm-hmm. saw me and I saw her there. So I, you know, that that moment, I forgot about everything. I've forgiven her from my, from the bottom of my heart. I have nothing against her, mm-hmm. and even to tell you um, the reasons um, she was even out when I came. I met with the president. I met with the minister to plead on her behalf to let them mm-hmm. just let it go. Let her just come back to the, mm-hmm. to, the to the to the society, and then life goes on. And I, and and and. and and to three, that is that is the same way I see her, you know, and any other person that, you know, that hurt me in the in this in this whole crisis. Forgiveness is divine. Yeah. And do you do you think the baggage or the trauma that you went through has somewhat transferred into your new relationship? <laughs> Yes, you know, uh, uh, it, 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 because, you know, it, in as much as you have that public support there, mm-hmm, Danny, mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. still there are few people that are going to still look at you in that, in that way. And whatever argument or whatever you get with somebody, they will always bring this, these things back to you, to your family. Sure. So, so, so I remember when I first met my, 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 my current wife, you know, <laughs> my current wife, it was crazy. You know, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. She, she, she's from there, America, Gambian, America. And most of our family don't agree to what, they, like, they would be oh. like, what are, what are you thinking? Why do you want to be with this person that is accused of this? So it, it, you know, it, and anytime she, she raised these things. Mm-hmm. I'll just go into the room. Sometimes I'll just I'll just go on my own. You know, like I'm a very complete different, like the booba you know now. I'm like um I don't know how to say it in English. Come that's your kessa now. <laughs> Normally I don't even want to go into pop. Okay, even wherever I go, I receive yes. that love, like from the students, okay. from everywhere mm-hmm. I go. People are inviting me to programs. You know, it was like a ble- it, it, it is a blessing, but sometimes even if I'm standing in front of those students there that look so much up to me, want to hear what I'm saying, but okay. in my heart, like I'm part of me is dead. I'm like, okay, maybe somebody's looking at me like, oh, this is the guy that was accused of, know, you know, rape. Know, know. So, so I always, even though from day one to now, I know that my consent is clear. I have not done <laughs> that, but you know, I always have that that kind of guilt that okay these people are gonna always 
stain you with, with, with your past, you know, and that is something that I can never change, you know. So uh, it, 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 it affected me yesterday. It's affected me today. You know, oh. it's just changed the whole person I am now and make me that come oh, more malula come somebody could, could they gonna roast like you know okay. but now True. I True. just I just become that complete different person now which I was I was I was I you know I was not before yeah have you taken time to just rest to kind of go away and and just take care of yourself mentally and give yourself a breathing space because I feel you you need that. This maybe a month, maybe just six months where you just go and you're just gone because you 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 you're focusing on you to recoup and you know reconnect with new ideas and rebuild yourself from within because it's 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 taken a lot. It's taken a lot from you, just confidence wise and just um. As a man itself, like as as good, you know, just go to Bob. I'm like it's there. There are a lot of things that you know you you have within yourself that you know as good. You don't come on You you can't you can't. There's a lot of things that we as men cannot express yeah. right now. We can open mm -hmm. up about, and I think for you, like Dempsey Ben and Dicker, you know, Uti, you know, just get like a specialty or therapist or whatnot, just in another country. So you can deal with this is very important. Just FYI, like if you're ever thinking about that, I think it's 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 some is going to be one of the best things that you do for yourself. Yes, yes, yes definitely. I I I have thought about that when I newly came out, but it was very impossible. So when I newly came out, my house mm -hmm. was like a bantaba. So mm -hmm. it's like every day people are coming in, and I have to take care of my business. So. And also the the most difficult part of it is wherever you go, you understand, you are going to be associated to Gambians. So now that makes it different. So I I I, I was out since twenty twenty two and I was in Gambia, I didn't travel. I went I went to Dakar. So there was a time I, I was thinking of going to Dakar. So I went with my friends and we we were seated in a restaurant. Um and it's only me, my friends, you know, we went together that are Gambians there. So we were sitting, and then these girls, they came in, they're Senegalese from the accent, you can know these are Senegalese. So we are sitting, and then, you know, TikTok, everything mm -hmm. is on TikTok. And then mm -hmm. they were looking like, I, you know, when you're sitting and somebody's looking at you, you know, obviously this person is looking at you. And then she sure. came, Sava, and we are like, hey, Sava, so like, and I am Gambia, like, I'm Gambia, I'm not going to do I'm not going to do because you know it is the same time Usman Songa was also going through that rape case in Senegal. So I was like, how do you know? He said, hey, you know, I'm not TikTok. Then they show me the whole video. And me and my friends were shocked. And she was like, you know, we told you. So and then and then and then I was like, okay, this thing is beyond me. So um, this year, earlier this year, I, I I I tried I tried to go. I said, okay, I'm gonna go to Europe. And uh, then you know, I went I went to I went to four different countries, gay countries. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. now the problem is, wherever you go, you're going to be around Gambians. That is for sure. So now this is where the problem comes. In as much as I want to forget this, Gambians are very good people. Sometimes they are telling you things hurting you but they don't know actually they're really hurting you so it's like when 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 i come to america today so mm -hmm. every gambian i meet like, oh bob this is a time problem oh, wow yeah. bob, i was praying for you so so even so even even if you even if you grow out of it they yeah. that, that that's that's what that, that's how that's the, the way the way the the, the community is built is yes. made to suck to keep to keep you in that state to keep you in yes. that Oh my God! Yeah. Keep reminding okay, you of them, that. They are not—they are not actually doing it to hurt you. Yes, so they I know. To, they just—they just want to. Okay, for example, when I went to nowhere, I was shocked. So the the whole community welcomed me. When I was coming, they gave me a suitcase full of clothes for my wife. So everyone want to get me something. Hey, Bob, be like you know, Sony. The magine sarak bini yo sa yai dafla nyalal yo ne So so now so now and then I'll just be thinking. Okay, 
now this is coming new again and then you see people that are old enough to be your mom mm -hmm. some will be talking till they cry so you so it's like oh, you, 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 your your emotions will grow again so so then i went to germany the same thing so when they know i'm here so i so if you can check in my instagram i was just spending two days today because if these people know i'm here everyone oh. wants to invite you and when they invite you they'll call the friends so i was in italy this bad way boys you know and everyone was just praying bob yalla mola mai you know you know you know come they'll start insulting the you know the person that you were with and then you oh. know you will have the first memory so and then i was like okay now this is a reality that i just have to even today i don't go to many places but when i go out a day would not be like I go to Seracon. Sometimes I'll just go to the market that I want to go do go do duka for my wife. And this mayor, somebody will just give me a face. Hey Bob, you know fans land. So always oh. it's been it's been two years, coming to three years now. But it's like <laughs> every time I step out there, and even at the functions, when I go to programs, you have you seen I've mm -hmm. gone to school talking about drugs. So even yes. in the introductions, they will talk about it. Okay, when he was in prison. We do this thing. So, uh, and I also want to talk about. So, it 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 it's always refreshing. And I think I think with time, I, yeah. I feel with time, with the numerous different accomplishments that you will come across, you know, that yeah. will come your way eventually. Um, yeah. Nini, people will we will forget and yeah. will move past that. I think if if like for example, the rumor the rumor that they have is that you are slowly walking into politics what you're looking at is that is, is that where your head is at no 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 not 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 not, not uh, definitely not uh for me i just i just feel like this is um like as you said everything in life happened for a reason so for True. me when i was when i was in my most difficult times there were people that stood up for me i don't know them from eve i don't know them from adam so mm -hmm. for me to build this momentum it's not because of Bob Keta, but it's because of the crime. Uh, it's because of the case I was, I was, I was accused of, and okay. today some of these kids they don't even call me Bob. They call me Uncle Free Bob. So oh. they don't just be like Free Bob because you know those days that was the slogan, Free yes. Bob, Free Bob, Free Bob. So some people will still now call me Free Bob, and our our elderly women will be like Bobo. You know they cannot say it, Bob. They will be like Bobo. So 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 for me when I came out, I I I've seen the I've seen the world differently from. From from how I was viewing things, so I have this different ideology uh, idea. So, yeah. but you know, people were not people are not seeing what I'm seeing. So, for most of them, they think everything I'm doing now, my connection with the youth, they think I'm also trying to pave a way towards politics, and which is not something I'm thinking of. But okay. now, you know, people are talking about it. Oh, he wants to become this. He wants to become that. But for me, as I would always state, I'm just focused. On that, on that right course that I'm doing now. Okay, I like, yeah. I, 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 I like that. I like that. Um, yeah. Before, before, before I, I, I get into the conversation of the foundation, just, yeah. just a crazy, just a crazy feud as well. But I mean, there's a, there's some, just based on the rumors, right? Mm. Is there anything going on between you and and one pack? No, no, no. Actually, not, 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 not. Definitely, you know that is. Then I have promised myself I've not talked about you know uh, um, since when that thing started. Uh, I can't say the whole media houses have called me for interview, but you know for me, mm -hmm. I'm not that somebody that is always out there to talk. You know, I just do my work. So there is nothing. Um, I think um, he 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 feels that uh, this was his project. I think there was a time when I was in prison. He started doing the same thing, but that that much attention. I was not given to him. That much publicity was not given to him. So when I came out, um, actually this was not even the first time we did it. We did this last year. You remember when we when we went to prison and mm -hmm. freed over seventeen young Gambians there, and you yes. know young people that are convicted of you know uh, uh, drugs because I was there, Danny. You know, mm -hmm. I spent two years of my life with these people. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, I met him there, but I think that time I don't know him. So some of these boys, you know, they're addicted to drugs, Danny. So when, Hold on. When they, when so, they, when... Bob, you are saying that your found Bob Cater Foundation, that is working towards, you know, advocating and sensitizing young people 
um, on the harmful effects of drugs. Yes. That your foundation's idea or scope pretty much, one pack is saying that that concept was stolen from him? No, yes. Yeah, that is what, that, that, that is he it. Can be. That, um, he started it, uh, because, you know, the videos are there for you to verify. He said, <laughs> he started this project and he approached me and, you know, I didn't want to collaborate with him while I'm going with certain artists. So I'll just have to make this clear. Uh, mm -hmm. when, 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 when he approached me, I told him this is not about Bob Keta. This foundation is having a board. This yes. foundation is having executive members. The mm -hmm. name Bob Keta, I don't even want it there, but that name suits it because anytime it comes it's like people know about me they know about it's a story. brand now come it's on guys yes so i told him i'm going to talk to the team and then we are going to talk to the board to see i said because this decisions most of this decision i'm not even there when this decision i'm making and we have partners these are big 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 institutions like official mm -hmm. you know un and all that so wherever they are putting their money they want to see results they want to see responsibilities you understand so True. i told him you know what i'm gonna get back to you two days later bam insult <laughs> oh you think you're gonna do this why are you not talking about rape you are you know and then i was like no you know <laughs> so for me i did not take it seriously a whole lot of people called me do not respond do not do not say any other thing but i think you know it's just it's just it's just unfortunate that um you know I find myself in that, in that, in that, but I think it's just dying down now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah. So we'll, we'll let, we'll let that, we'll let that, we'll let that go. We we'll certainly let that, let that go. Um, guys, if you are on uh, social media, where, whatever, um, social media platform you may find yourself on, Bob Kata has the foundation. So there is the Bob Kata foundation that is advocating against the use of drugs. I like that slogan that you have on Twitter, you know, um, pick up the pen and drop, you know, and, and drop the drugs. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it, it's, it's, it's very catchy. And I must, one thing I must say is I must commend you for what you do. No mat, no matter, no matter the smallest of, of 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 effects that it has just do you, do you understand what i'm saying yeah because a lot of our people that are on social media are very much talkers you know we don't yeah. have a lot of doers and especially in the gambian community it's easier for us to complain about so many things mm -hmm. than actually finding ways to yeah. resolve to resolve those problems and if you are going to be doing that one pencil at a time one yeah. book at a time one school uniform at a time one pair of shoe at a time that's that's what we are going to do and that's the work that you're putting in and congratulations for doing it i don't think um anyone else that's not doing that should say anything else so show us what you have because you are you are putting your money where your mouth is I, I I saw I saw the controversy on Twitter when you had when you gave when you had the 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 the, the pencil giveaway, um yeah. for the school, people yeah. were they 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 were they were lashing at you because you gave people pencil. I'm trying to understand like, okay, but yeah. that's something that is yeah. something. How did that yeah. how did that make that how did how did that make you feel? No, you know, for me, I'm strong. I'm, I'm uh, you know, as I tell you, this this case have have break me, but it have also built me um, okay. to, become, to become a very strong and very tolerant person. You understand? So this this were individuals that were against me during the case, and then we defeated them, and then when I came back to the society, they couldn't accept the fact that. All what they wanted was is to is to kill me. What I mean by that, like when I come back, I'm going to reject that. But I have grown that 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 you know that influence, that love, especially among the young people. Mm -hmm. So now they couldn't comprehend that. So when I start take the pen and leave the drug campaign, mm -hmm. so they, they then we'll go to schools and we'll give them pens and we will talk to them. And if you see some of those videos. For me, I think the most important thing there is not even the pen that is given to them, but it's the message that the pen comes with. Very important. And because also, not everybody can do that. Daddy, you know Gambia. Not everybody can assemble all those students. Once the teachers tell them you are coming, they need to know who you are. They yes. need to know whether they have that connection with you. 
Mm-hmm. So sometimes I would write to the schools prior to going, and they would be calling me. So I said, you know what? You should have you should have come today because our students are eager. And when I'm there, what where are they? I went to one school. There was an exam. They have to stop because the whole students came out because most oh. of them have never seen me. It's only on TikTok and. You know, you see, you see that crowd for you to be talking and everybody's just silent and just listening to you. I think that that message alone should 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 um you know be commendable. But and True. and even why we are giving them pens? Sometimes you talk to the students and then you leave. Guys, I'll, underneath in the description, what I'm going to do is I'll put the link to the foundation. I equally put as well his uh, social media handles so you can follow him at bob underscore cater on x i think equally on instagram listen you have a beautiful wife you have you 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 certainly will make a beautiful family and we are proud of everything that you are working on in life we all make mistakes um things happen right we we offend people here and there and we we certainly pick up a bunch of um, negative energy along the way. But but thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you for opening up life some way, somewhere, how has a way of throwing stones at you. But, you know, you pick up your L and you just keep moving and and and, 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 and continue to be iconic, pretty much. But, Bob, you have, you have a good one, bro. Thank you for listening to Crude with Danny Constant. If you have any questions or remarks, please leave us a voice message. Link is in the description. Give us a five-star review if you love the show. Until I come your way again, I am your host, Danny Constant. Script supervisor, Pa Omar Dahaba. Music by JLive Music. This podcast was brought to you by Constant Productions. Sponsored by Kalajula Luxury Stays. Thank you for listening.